This is Michael Popak, Legal AF. Donald Trump's about as hot as a cat on a hot tin roof. He's jumpy. He's nervous. He's looking behind him. He's paranoid. This is the guy that's running to be the leader of the free world. Not when his entire office in the Republican National Committee office in West Palm Beach, Florida, and his campaign office shut down because somebody put $14 prank plastic, quote unquote, listening devices under the desks and they started beeping. Now, look, I get it. They're paranoid. The Iranians, the Iranians, according to uh, the FBI and other intelligence agencies, the ones that Donald Trump doesn't believe exist or believe that they do a good job, they've already told the, uh, the Trump campaign that there's been an attempt to hack his emails. And now they're looking for, I don't know what, communists, socialists, Kamala Harris, the Democratic National Committee, everything under their desks. And the West Palm Beach police had to be called out for this all new reporting, both in the New York Times and in other places, which I thought was hilarious. Now, I lived in West Palm Beach. I lived in Palm Beach County. I sort of know these people and I know the law enforcement there. Here's how they wrote up in their police report. And I'm sure they had to bite a hole in their tongue and in their cheek when they wrote this, all in caps, as only police reports can do. Found potential listening devices. Heard beeping by desks. Internal security also found device, uh, the police report read. Thinks the uh, the person who made the report thinks they have found listening devices, quote unquote, bugs in the office. And I don't mean ones you need an exterminator for. I mean, the Trump campaign and the Trump people are so skittish right now, <laughs> okay, that if you just, whoa, boo. They would they would be startled. And this is a guy that's supposed to be focused on preparing for a debate that he thinks he's already won because he's the better debater against Kamala Harris, who spent her life giving opening statements and closing arguments and being a prosecutor. I got news for him. And she spent the last four years being vice president of the United States. Kamala Harris is ready. Kamala Harris is being prepared. And what Kamala Harris and her people aren't doing is jumping at the sight of their own shadow or a $14 listening device prank gift that you you too can buy on Amazon. <laughs> now, I don't know what's more delicious. The person that actually planted these three listening devices, fake listening devices to scare the crap out of the Trump organization, or that person knowing that the Trump organization are now so paranoid that they think there is like Watergate at every turn. Let me return to Watergate for a minute so people remember where all these gates came from. Watergate refers to the Watergate Hotel, and that is where the committee to reelect the president, yes, it was called Creep, C-R-E-E-P, who, who was the campaign arm of the Nixon candidacy for a second term, decided that they were going to use a bunch of quote unquote plumbers out of Miami, primarily led by people like uh, G. Gordon Liddy, to break into the Democratic National Committee offices in the Watergate Hotel, tape the door open, and rifle around and look for things. These bumblers were caught by uh, security guards and police, and that led to the back, by the Watergate scandal, and now the term we use for anything where there's a scandal that backs up to the presidency. It's usually called something gate. Um, and so that's where it came from. This isn't listening bug gate, Amazon gate. This is just a bunch of skittish uh, Trump campaign officials who thought nothing, but instead of to look at it and decide that this was a prank, try to blame the Democrats, try to blame Kamala Harris for blowing $13.97 on Amazon and sticking this beeping device uh, under their desks. That's where they belong. They belong under their desk. Now, this is a person who's campaigning to be the leader of the free world, to run and be the commander in chief, to run our national security, to be the head ultimately of all of our intelligence community. And he and his people can't tell the difference between a $13 beeping prank gift that you can buy on Amazon and an actual spy gear listening device. I mean... He should, Donald Trump should spend less time commenting on Kamala Harris's appearance, her ethnicity, her racial makeup, how she identifies herself, how Joe Biden looks in a bathing suit. And he should spend a lot more time getting his professionals uh, kind of banded together, properly trained and ready 
because they are not ready for prime time. This is the group that's going to get swept into the White House by uh, a, a Donald Trump win. I don't want them anywhere. I don't even want them to be allowed to take a White House tour, <laughs> let alone go back to the White House. I mean, you know, you can buy lots of things on Amazon. You can buy, remember, you could buy plastic vomit. You can buy whoopee cushions. You can buy itching powder. Remember all those things? There used to be a company that was uh, right near me in New Jersey called Adams, for those that remember. You you get a fly ice cube and you put it in your, your friend's drink or a dribble glass. Do you remember all those things? Those things were great. And now you can buy a $13.97 listening device and you too can freak the crap out of the Trump uh, campaign and have them call the local police and close down their door for the day. Cat food has been the same forever. It's time for cat food to move into the 21st century. That's why you've got to try Smalls. It's time to make kibble a thing of the past. Smalls cat food is protein-packed recipes made with preservative-free ingredients you'd find in your fridge. And it's delivered right to your door. That's why veterinarians.org rates Smalls 10 out of 10 for ingredient quality. My cat Chanel, yes, yeah, Chanel, her favorite flavor is smooth fish. And my cat prefers Smalls way more than her previous cat food. I did a taste test. I put two bowls side by side and Chanel immediately went to Smalls. Smalls was started back in 2017 by a couple of guys home cooking cat food in small batches for their friends. And a few short years later, they've served millions of meals to cats across the U.S. I feel better knowing I'm feeding my cat Chanel real food, not burnt kibble. I can finally open a packet of cat food and not get nauseous. I actually recognize the ingredients in a packet of Smalls food. After making the switch to Smalls, 88% of cat owners reported overall health improvements. That's a big deal. The team at Smalls is so confident your cat will love their product that you can try it risk-free. That means they will refund you if your cat won't eat their food. Now is the time to make the switch to Smalls. Head to smalls.com slash legalaf and use promo code legalaf at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code legalaf for 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code legalaf for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. I mean, they, they went out of business effectively for the day. This may explain why Donald Trump was not on the campaign trail on Labor Day. He's supposed to be trying, he is supposed to be trying to attract the labor vote, the blue collar vote, the union vote. And yet he found something else to do. I don't even know what it was on Labor Day. While Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, and, and Tim Walls were out with shoe leather, right? Pounding the pavement, whistle stop tour, meeting voters, doing rallies, doing speeches, and the rest. That's what you're supposed to do if you want to be president of the United States, not do some stupid podcast interview. Donald Trump's energy is flagging. He is quietly kidding, uh, quitting his campaign. He's phoning it in almost literally. The substitute for rallies, campaigning, meeting voters, going out and seeing them apparently is to do podcasts and uh, softball interviews and phoning in to uh, radio shows. That's what he's doing when he's not sending J.D. Vance out to attack women one way or the other and demean them and make them second-class citizens in a misogynist, uh, almost uh, rhetorically violent manner. That's what they're doing. While their staff and their campaign are busy hiding under their desk, literally looking for phony listening devices that they think were planted there. I got news for them. The Democrats and progressives and independents don't need to eavesdrop on your campaign. We don't want to adapt your strategy. It's very transparent what it is. You just wheel out this almost 80-year-old guy who's got the beginnings of dementia and you let him just, you just pull a string in his back and you let him attack away and say nasty, violent, misogynistic, pornographic things about Kamala Harris. And when he's not doing that, he's busy complimenting himself or promoting uh, his narcissism. That's your campaign strategy. I didn't need a listening device for that. You guys are unhinged. You're going for the Bubba vote. I got it. 
You're going for the bro vote. Bro, you know, you're going for the uh, brohemians or whatever you call them. There's, n I have a newsflash for them. There's not enough white under 25 year old World Wrestling Federation MMA podcast uh, supporters to vote you into the White House. Now, look, I get only 40,000 votes mattered last time. I'm not sure that's how that's going to roll this time. I know that people think it was only 0.04% of the entire electorate voted for the president or got the president elected at the end. You know, but I'm not sure that's going to happen again. Not if Kamala Harris has her way and her campaign continues to roll. But I got a report. Even though it made me laugh and it's, I had to stifle a laugh throughout this hot take, I had a report on the great the great uh, national security expert, the great uh, believer that he can solve all world wars just by thinking about them, right? He's got the secret sauce to solve the why Russia invaded Ukraine. Uh, it would never have happened on his watch. I got news for people that believe that. And I've interacted with some of them recently on the other side. They don't understand history. They never studied history and they have no idea what continuity of history means at all. Okay, when the Soviet Union rolled ahead, nobody blamed Ronald Reagan, right? When when all the other wars started on Republican on the Republican time, we didn't blame that administration. Okay, Clinton didn't have any wars happen to him. That was more a coincidence than it was a factor of his foreign policy. The fact that Obama. We had no wars except Russia tried to take part of Crimea. Biden, no wars except Russia decided to take part of its neighbor again. Israel has been on fire since the 1970s. And it doesn't matter. Our political electoral calendar doesn't matter. Okay. It matters what they want to do at any particular time about their sovereignty and about dealing with terrorists next door. That's how that works. So... But for those people that put Donald Trump up on a pedestal and say he's the great, he's the great unifier, he's the great protector of our democracy, he's the great expert on foreign policy, he can't tell the difference between a $13 toy listening device and an actual bugging of his campaign. And we don't need to bug your campaign. We're going to beat you fair and square. But you're not going to get out from under the justice system just because you think it also has a bad look while you're running for office. We'll continue to follow it all at the intersection of law and politics. I do it right here on the Midas Touch Network. I don't blow smoke or sunshine. People know that about me. I'm not censored. I'm not, I'm not, uh, nobody tells me what to say. I barely know what I'm going to say when I take to the microphone. Join me on Legal AF. Can everybody see that? At the intersection of law and politics. Every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we curate the top five stories at the intersection of law and politics. We bring it to you right here on a podcast we call, what is it? Legal AF. And then you can pick us up on all podcast platforms, audio podcast platforms. Just look for our, what? Our album cover. There it is again. <laughs> and so it's all my next hot take. It's all my next Legal AF. This is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legal AF. That's patreon.com slash legal AF.